Hello everyone. Today's scripture is in both Matthew and Mark, but let's read the Matthew version. Matthew chapter 15. Then some Pharisees and teachers of the law came to Jesus from Jerusalem and asked, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? They don't wash their hands before they eat. First, notice that they came from Jerusalem. Uh, they came specifically to see what Jesus was up to. Then they talk about what even they only call tradition. They didn't even lie and say it was a commandment. And by the way, what's in question here isn't cleanliness. It's just a useless and showy tradition. Um, actually, the Mark version has a part in parentheses. I'll just read that. The Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they give their hands a ceremonial washing holding to the tradition of the elders. When they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash, and they observe many other traditions such as the washing of cups, pitchers, and kettles. So there's that. Let's go back to Matthew. Jesus replied, and why do you break the command of God for the sake of your tradition? For God said, Honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses his father or mother must be put to death. But you say that if a man says to his father or mother, Whatever help you might otherwise have received from me is a gift devoted to God, he is not to honor his father with it. Thus you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition. You hypocrites! Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain, and their teachings are but rules taught by men. So Jesus probably could have pulled out a lot of examples of how the Pharisees are not just breaking tradition, but actual commandments. He uses this one. Basically, in that day, if someone claimed that all their possessions were dedicated to God, then they could say that their parents couldn't use those possessions in any way, which breaks one of the Ten Commandments, honor thy father and mother, and people were just using this to not have to take care of their parents, and the Pharisees were totally okay with that, and they probably participated in it as well. And I'll be honest, I love to find loopholes in life, but the truth is that some loopholes are evil because you're taking advantage of people for your own benefit. And so Jesus says that people like that might say that they love God, but their hearts actually don't, and that they would rather follow an old man's rules rather than God's. Jesus called the crowd to him and said, Listen and understand. What goes into a man's mouth does not make him unclean, but what comes out of his mouth, that is what makes him unclean. Jesus here, of course, was specifically talking about these food traditions, because of course poison or poop or something does make you unclean. Also not to mention if you take anything simple through your eyes or even your ears, I guess. But he was talking about how these dumb traditions aren't what make someone unclean. It's what someone says that can make them unclean if it's sinful. Then the disciples came to him and asked, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this? The disciples pretty much always agreed or at least obeyed Jesus' teachings, but they did not understand how he dealt with his reputation. Perhaps when Jesus was arrested in the garden, maybe they weren't too surprised. They knew that the Pharisees could go after him at any moment, and in this context they were asking if they should do something about it. He replied, Every plant that my Heavenly Father has not planted will be pulled up by the roots. Leave them. They are our blind guides. If a man leads a blind man, both will fall into a pit. This kind of reminds me of last week, because again, Jesus here says that you don't need to forcefully right these wrongs. And basically, he says that those who don't follow God's wisdom will eventually fail, but those that do will succeed. The ones who don't are literally spiritually blind. Their spirit is blind. Peter said, Explain the parable to us. 
Are you still so dull? Jesus asked them. Don't you see that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and then comes out of the body? But the things that come out of the mouth come from the heart, and these make a man unclean. For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false testimony, slander. These are what make a man unclean. But eating with unwashed hands does not make him unclean. Jesus repeats himself, and even though he didn't need to, I think it was so good that he did. He says that it's all about the heart, which is why he's said stuff before like, whoever has looked at a woman with lust has committed adultery, because to be honest, we can probably find a way to justify everything, you know, so that's when we think a sin is no longer a sin, but it still is, because your heart wasn't in the right place. So let's all remember that. It doesn't matter how much good we do if our heart isn't in the right place. And if it isn't, you're probably more likely to do bad anyways. Thanks for listening, guys.